Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna do a review of the arcade, mini arcade classic for Pac-Man. This is series number 7. It's a new version of the Pac-Man. They had an older version that's black and white screen, but this is a new color screen. Oh, sorry, I took it out already in the unboxing video. So I actually bought a uh, three machine, Pac-Man, Cuber, and uh, Centipede. And today I'm gonna do a review for just the Pac-Man. So in the back, it shows you there's like two game mode, eat the dot, which is normal mode, and chase mode is that you chase these uh, dots. Yeah, two modes. And yeah, let's check it out. It's color. So here's the actual machine. It's pretty small, sits on my hands, very cute. Uses three double A batteries. It comes with it when you purchase it. It's around 16 90 cents uh, in the store. I got it from Walmart. Yeah, it's, the build is really nice, like it's very smooth, no sharp edges. And there's a button for on off and a volume button and a joystick and a start pause button and a mode selection for different game mode. Let's turn it on. Let's see, let's see the screen. And then press start. So as you can see, there's only like four color. It's not really like a really good uh, LCD screen. It's like the old style. You can see like the LCD things, even though if it's not light out, you can see it on the screen. You know what I'm talking about? Like the black and white LCD, but just in color. The sound is legit, but the graphic is just not up to par as the other two machines. You know, the other two is like actual modern LCD machine, but this is just ugly. I didn't really like that part. It looked retro, it's good in that sense, but just not up to the modern standard. And the, another thing is that uh, the joystick is not really good. It's super hard, it's not like smooth, so it's like sometimes press it, it didn't register, it's just horrible. And the volume button, you get to press it once, turn less volume, press it again, it's muting, press it again, it's back to the high volume. Yeah, it's really hard to play. As you can see, it's not responding much. You just press it one and it will just keep going in the same direction. Yeah, just like the original Pac-Man. Yeah. So, overall, I do not recommend this product just due to the screen is, even though it's color and backlighted, it is just ugly and not, a fu not fun to play. And the high score does not register once you turn it off. Once you turn it off, turn it on again, it resets to zero again. So it doesn't really keep. Or does it? Oh, it does. Just kidding. That high score actually register in this one. Not in the other two games. After you shut down, the score is gone. But this game actually kept this high score. That's a, that's a plus for this machine. Okay, so this is just my mini review of the Pac-Man Arcade Classic. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. JS Adventure is a snippet of our daily lives and travel. Thank you for JS Adventure records our daily life and travel. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. See you guys next time. Bye bye.